All right, sorry it's a little messy, but uh, we're going to show you how to change the O-ring in the back of the gavel. It's, it sits inside of the bolt guide, which looks like this. So the bolt guide is underneath the back cap. You take the uh, included largest Allen wrench and you unscrew uh, the back cap, put it aside, and then, I don't know if you can see that, um, that next hole in there, you put the same size wrench in it, and that's the bolt guide, and you remove it. Now make sure you're wearing safety glasses because at this point uh, the bolt guide could uh, fly out if the white o-ring has come dislodged. There's a white o-ring in there. It shouldn't have come dislodged, but just, you know, for safety's sake, keep it pointed away from you and wear safety glasses. Um, there's two sets of threads that this uh, bolt guide has to be unscrewed through. The first one where it sits, and the second one where the where the back cap sits. It'll screw through both of them. And you can see in there, if you can see that white O-ring, that's the one you're hoping stays in place. I mean, it should stay in place. It's just uh, better safe than sorry. So, now you've got the bolt guide here, and the O-ring... It's just like the M17 or the FSC or Pepperball TCP. It's right in the in the end right here. Hope you can see it. Anyway, uh, you take a, a pin or an X-Acto knife and you just poke into it and pull it out. Comes out pretty easy. There it is right there. You want to make sure there's oil on it. So you take your new one here. Uh, put it to the side. I'm, I'm, putting, uh, I'm putting a bunch of uh, paint ball oil, paintball oil on it. Off to the side here. And come back. It's all shiny. Uh, you can use a big pen. Take the cap off. Uh, you use the end of the pen. It fits right up inside, and you can use that to um, push back on your O-ring, so it'll fit. It'll slide right into the the groove, uh, and you just use that pen to to guide it in place. I'm just using my finger till now, and if it gets a little stuck, you use the end of the pen, um, and. Let's see. Yeah, that's it. It's all in place. It's all in there. Uh, and then what we do is we cover this in silicone with a little. We've got. We do a lot of these, so we got paint brushes uh, for the silicone. Works really good. Get it all over there, and you. Uh, let's see. You put the the bolt guide right back into place. You screw it through the first the first set of threads, and it drops down. You screw it through the second set of threads. Just hand tight. You know you don't want it to come loose because it's it's pushing on that o white O ring, which is an air seal, and so you don't want any air to to escape past there. Because this is the air chamber right here in the back. It's built into the body of the gun so we could get a thinner uh, launcher. Now you um, tighten up the back cap, hand tight, and, and there you go. Everything's back in place. With uh, you know either tools we provided or common... Uh, Items like a, a big pen, an exacto knife. Uh, you can also use like a uh, a sewing needle to pry out the the O-ring. Uh, there you go. Thanks a lot.